Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted that you have presented Sabin Award for my work. As a researcher on amphibians, I am honored. I consider this award as an international appreciation of my work so far. This award is also a motivation for work that need to be done in future. Thank you for Sabin Award 2008. Today, I would like to share with you just two thoughts. The first is the wonderful world of amphibians in India, and the second is the urgency for enormous effort for saving these vanishing amphibians. I was introduced to the world of amphibians by amphibians themselves. This happened about 17 years ago. At that time, I was a plant taxonomist. Wherever I went searching for plants, frogs were there. I became fascinated by their colors, calls, shapes, or even behaviors. I did not realize how the fascinations grew. One day, I realized that my mind was full of plants of frog study and had none for plant study. From that point, frog took charge of my life. My work starts in forest of India and then carry to the laboratory in University of Delhi. I have great pleasure in sharing the results of my work in taxonomy and conservation. In fact, the taxonomy and conservation are two sides of the same coin. First, I will share an overview of my result in taxonomic research. My work yielded discoveries of 150 new species, nine new genera, and the rich reward of an entirely new family. The new family is named as Nasiga Betrachidae and was published in 2003. Out of nine new genera discovered, I have published four of them. Out of 150 new species discovered, I have published 40 species so far. India is a treasure house for amphibian uniqueness. We have a frog species that achieve fertilization simply through surniding without any physical contact. S smallest frog in India can comfortably sit on a coin. We have a frog species that lives underground for 11 months a year. For about 11 months a year, this frog lives up to the depth of 16 feet. Even their courtship call, calling is underground. When it is time for mating, the frogs came out in the open. The male continues to call and then mates. After egg laying, the frogs separate and slip back to the darkness of their underground world. It's a truly an astonishing and amazing frog for us. This is the time to discuss about the quantitative diversity of Indian amphibians. Currently, we have 283 known species. We have an extraordinary amphibian fauna in terms of endemism, uniqueness, and species diversity. Where is this amazing diversity headed? Frogs are declining due to various reasons. Indian frogs are lucky because so far there is no evidence of fungal diseases which is swapping across the Latin America and Australia, depleting the frog population. However, Indian frogs face other major threats. Let us look at some of them. We have seen many facets of tragedies that deplete Indian amphibians. Amphibian habitats are cleared for timber, cultivation and urbanization. Their habitats are reduced to ashes in forest fires. All these are great ecological tragedies. But the tragedy of tragedies is that all these factors are man-made. 
the big killer in India is people themselves. What people cause to happen can control only by the people themselves. This is the great conservation challenge. What can I do? This is a question that I constantly ask myself. There are some specific ways in which I think my contribution flows into conservation. In my work, I try to answer two questions. What are we conserving and where are we conserving? These two questions seem to be innocently simple. To answer the question, what species are we conserving, I ask myself three other questions. The first question is, are there still new species that science has not documented? I think we should never stop asking this question. I have been privileged to discover over 150 new amphibian species from India. New species. The second question is, is an extinct species really extinct? Even when a species considered extinct, we could still look for it. This is the classical and the best example to illustrate. This is Philatus travancoricus. It was reported to be extinct for 140 years. Happily, it was rediscovered after two years of extensive field research in and around the vicinity of type locality. My third principle is that I should question even what appears to be obvious. This tiny bush frog, Philatus vinoadensis, was originally described and reported from Wynard area of the Western Ghats in Southern Peninsula. Subsequently, this frog was reported from many different parts of India under the same species name. My taxonomic studies on Philatus vinoadensis showed that the Indian population of this species is actually seven distinct species with their own unique distribution and identity. Such findings completely change conservation prioritization. After the study, each of the seven species was categorized as endangered or even critically endangered. I have been able to share with you a broad perspective on my taxonomic research. Let me take you through four of my specific conservation projects. The Indian purple frog has a small distribution range and is endangered. I recently rediscovered this endangered tree frog, Rhacophorus lateralis, about 150 years after its original description. The aim of this project is to evaluate the threat for the species from habitat modification. This is an undescribed species of Philatus with extraordinary endemism. It lives in less than three square kilometer area on the mountain summit in southern western Ghats. There are only about 1,000 individuals and the population is slowly depleting. I am trying to find out why a species occurring well within a highly protected area is on a downhill course. Sometimes I ask myself a question, what is my dream? I think I am still dreaming on what I should dream. I want this dream to be the biggest dream that a field taxonomist can dream. This is a dream where all Indian amphibians are discovered and nothing is left to the chance for their conservation. This dream is much bigger than myself and such Herculean tasks are possible only through combined and collaborative research. I am dreaming to achieve the magical figure of description of over 150 new species. Monsoon in India is magical. Frogs occupy central stage of monsoon drama. The chorus of frogs that have celebrated monsoon for millennia must continue to resound in our forest. If we want this, we can achieve it.
this award strengthens my hope for future. I now know that my frogs have more friends. Friends who are not only concerned but are ready for conservation action. Thank you again for Sabin Award 2008. Thank you for all.